Imagine having to fly thousands of miles to a different country through COVID travel restrictions for your child's life-saving surgery. That is the reality for the Molstad family from Sweden. New specialist Ashley Moser introduces us to their daughter, who's getting care for a rare condition at Primary Children's Hospital. Well, Edith is the first child in Sweden, in Europe even, to have this pacemaker placed in her brain for seizures. Her family says she's a fighter, something that's evident with all that she's already been through. Before she got ill, she, she was into sports. She liked to, to play soccer, uh, to play with friends. Ten-year-old Edith Malstead has changed in so many ways in the last three years. She can't uh, ride a bike, she can't play with her friends as soon as we try to do something. She gets horrible seizures and they knock her out and they affect her cognition and her mood and her well-being. So she never feels well. Edith has fires, febrile infection related epilepsy syndrome, diagnosed at seven years old. But treatment for the rare disease isn't something doctors in her home country were familiar with. And we have tried basically everything that the Swedish healthcare has to offer. Her parents started to look for answers all over the world, and through that research, she came across treatment at Primary Children's Hospital. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. When Edith's family reached out, you. we began communicating. Doctors okay. reviewed Edith's case, and this past June, implanted a pacemaker in her brain. But that can monitor when a seizure is starting and try to just stop it before it starts. Doctors say Edith is now on the long road to improvement. We just always want to do everything we can to make her, you know, as much of a normal child. And, and to live a, a fulfilling and wonderful life as we can. She'll need to fly back to Utah every three months for appointments, so trips, and treatment. Over $100,000 so far, the family paid for out of pocket. Uh, it's actually about saving our daughter's life, so uh, then you do what you have to do. The family staying at the Ronald McDonald House. They leave for Sweden on Thursday and will be back for their next appointment in another three months, a journey they aren't sure how long they'll be on. In the newsroom, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News.